Zazzle has been dreaming up new ways to take your DIY and decorating needs to a whole new level. We are excited to walk you through designing for custom fabrics. Whether you're sewing up a storm or crafting a new home decor project, you'll want to dazzle with Zazzle's vast array of fabric choices. If you're wanting to create a special pattern or print and don't know where to start, let's take a quick look at our fabric design tool and walk through some of its functionality. Let's begin by adding an image or two, or we can add text. Anything that we want to make into a pattern which will populate the fabric. I'm uploading a blue circle and a green circle. Here's a tip. If you only see one image and you can't find the other one or ones that you've uploaded, troubleshoot by checking behind the image that is most readily visible. It may also be really tiny. So if the latter is the case, try making it larger within this tool. And if it becomes too pixelated, try importing the image again at 300 dpi or dots per inch. Now I'm going to take this design I've created and I'm going to tile it so it fills the rest of the design area. It's like magic. Before we go any further, let me make a few distinctions here so I don't confuse you. An image is what you first upload to this tool. A tile is the design you create with the image or images you've uploaded and the text you've added. And the pattern is the all-encompassing design of the tiles that propagate the fabric. Make sense? Within our design tool, there is a dotted line about halfway down. The top portion allows you to manipulate your entire tile pattern, and below that are the tools that let you alter the images and text you first uploaded. Okay, back to tiling. This is how our design looks in basic tile mode. This is the half brick where the images are slightly offset from one another. Here's the half drop. And finally, this is what mirrored tiling looks like. Next, let's look at our fabric from different vantage points. This view is a close-up on your design so you can see the details. Now, you're seeing how a swatch would look if you were to order it. And the next is a view of how your fat quarter would look. By the way, fat quarter is a term used in quilting. And the fourth view is how a full yard would look. The horizontal length represents the width of the piece of fabric, and the vertical height represents one yard. This next view is called in situ, which means in situational view. This is the real live, real time view of how your fabric is going to look when you receive it. And yes, it will have a white border. This is good because it means that you're getting the full width and length of your design that we advertise to you. If we say you're getting a fabric that is 56 inches wide by 36 inches in length, that's exactly what you're getting in usable fabric. Just know there will not be a white border in between each yard, just only along the outer circumference. Next, you're looking at how the fabric looks in seam mode. This is very important to check if you're ordering more than one yard of fabric because multiple yards of fabric print out directly one after the other. If you've just created an image and that image isn't tileable, your fabric could look really strange at the intersection of each yard of fabric, if you know what I mean. And the final view is of the original tile that you started out with. If you wanna make any changes, this is where to do it. This is an art view only, and your colors may look slightly different here than they do on the other views. And no, the ruler and the dotted or black lines you see around your tile will not actually print on your fabric. Okay, you can edit the design of that tile or change the size of that tile. Right here, you can see the size as it relates to the ruler. And you can see that over here, your tile is 4.2 inches wide and four inches in height. The proportion constraints come automatically locked. To unlock, just click on the icon between the width and height boxes. Another important point to note is that we have preset the size options for tiles even though you may have unlocked the size constraints. We limit the tile height to certain sizes to keep your designs from breaking the seamless structure that we created for printing multiple yards. If you have uploaded an image that is already designed to tile seamlessly, use the tile size adjustment buttons to make it bigger or smaller. 
If you're using an image that you made in Photoshop or Illustrator, like this example, don't change the size of the image in this area. The reason, if you make it bigger, it will overlap. And if you make it smaller, you'll have white space. Here we are below the dotted line. This again is where you can edit the images and text that were first uploaded. Tread very carefully here. Under edit, you can do everything from delete to crop your image. And arrange is where you can change the size and orientation of the image. Next to those pull downs is a feature that will let you shift whichever image is highlighted here, either vertically or horizontally so you can get everything aligned perfectly. We understand it's all in the details. If you click on this button, it will give you some advanced options. Clicking the bottom box will allow you to templatize images and text. And if you're a designer, this will allow others to easily customize their images and text to create variations on patterns later. Also, if you want a background color behind the pattern, choose it here. If you want something more than just from the general color palette, you can also add a very specific one by clicking on the advanced link and entering its hex number. Again, remember, what you see in this view is what you get. If you can't see the background color now, it won't be there when it's delivered to your door. Up here in the upper left-hand corner is a panel that you can keep either open or closed. It allows you to see a zoomed-in version of your customized fabric. And it allows you to undo and redo the last edit choices you've made. Now, if you're happy with your pattern, you can choose your fabric and size and add it to your cart. Or, if you're a designer, you can post it for sale. Now that you're done, you can do a little happy dance. Adding custom fabric to our product offerings is just one more way we're putting the power of customization in your hands. Zazzle is truly a revolution in the making, and we're excited to have you be a part of it.